Mary Catherine Ham joins me. Nice to see you, Mary Catherine. Thanks. Um, and I told you before when you sat down how awkward this is because you never know what to say to someone like this. That's, yeah, that's the way this works. You know, uh, you know it really is. I mean, um, I, I didn't know your husband, but when this happened, it turned all of us upside down. It turned the viewers upside down. I mean, I can't even imagine, you know, what's like for you in little Georgia. Well, and one of the things that I've learned about this process is that, you know, there is no quick cure, uh, but... There have been blessings in it, even though it is a terrible thing. Uh, and one of the blessings is that both people I know uh, personally, my professional family here at Fox and elsewhere, and thousands of people that I do not know who are among our viewership and just people who cared about us have been willing to support us and just armies of people praying for us. Uh, and that really has brought me so much comfort and brought all of us so much comfort. So I'd like to say thank you for that. Well, you know, when I hear the terms, I mean, you're a young woman, when I hear late husband. I mean, that's not supposed to happen to a, a young woman and you're, you're pregnant with uh, your second child. That's yes. not supposed to happen. Late, just the, not the right word. Um, you know, and, and when I hear all the things about Jake, I mean, of all things, he's on a charity trying to help others. I mean, like, that's not supposed to happen. Right. Uh, yeah, he was uh, one hell of a human being. It's, uh, it's hard to explain all that he was um, because he did so many things. And he was one of these people who might have been obnoxiously good at everything, except that he was such a cool guy and such a nice guy and really was driven to help other people all the time. I think he knew that all of his talents were blessings and that they were given to him and that he needed to use them in service of others and that was something that drove him and it's how he fit in 70 years of life in 34 years uh, which is one thing I'm really thankful for. How did you find out? Where were you? Um, I was in Durham, North Carolina with my family, uh, thank goodness, uh, when this all started happening. You get so. the phone call and then everything's different. Well yeah, there's a, you know, there's a signpost in my life now of before and after this happened. Um, and the thing is, and I think Jake would want this for us, uh, it is an impossibly, irreparably sad thing that happened to us. Uh, but I am not an impossibly, irreparably sad person. And my children will not be, and our family will not be, uh, because he would want us to live bravely, uh, and he would want us to have fun. And I will probably always think that the world is a little bit less fun and beautiful because he's not here. But he would say it's my job to get off my butt and make it fun and beautiful. <laughs> you know, I see that picture, and I mean, I look at him and I think, wow, oh, I'd, like, I'd like to have known him. You know, it's like he didn't, you know, he, I didn't see him in here with you. And so, you know, and I look at that, and he looks, he looks like he's full of life. Yes. I mean, it looks like he wants to have fun. I mean, look at you in your cost the costumes. What was that all about? Uh, I'm a little bit obsessed with Halloween. Jake was kind enough to go along with it, especially he was a very fa talented photographer. Uh, and so when he figured out he could take pictures of us in our, in our get up every year, he went along with it. And um, I dressed him up as Captain America because, frankly, it was pretty believable. Um, he was that guy. Uh, and he was you know, an incredibly talented athlete, very smart guy. Uh, just gifted in every area. I ask every woman this and every man, did you, did, when you first met him, did you love him? Did you like him? Uh, I think when I first met him, uh, for both of us, there were some reservations because of the uh, bipartisan nature of that relationship. But I think with the reason we were together is because we believe that people are more than just their politics. They are more than just their ideologies. And uh, it's a rare person who's not a hybrid of some kind, and you can find things to come together on. And, and uh, Jake and I agreed on many things, uh, not least of which was the way we would raise our kids. And that's, that's one thing I feel very confident about moving forward, is that, uh, that I know what he would have wanted uh, and that I can, I can take care of things. And <clears throat> one thing I've said throughout all this is, if you had put this exact scenario to Jake, um, he would have said without a sh beyond a shadow of a doubt that I could handle it. Now that doesn't mean that I have no doubts, but the fact that he would not uh, gives me strength. And I, re I really believe that, and he will continue to give me strength from elsewhere as well. How's Georgia, your daughter? Um, she's doing good. She's uh, happy to have everyone around her. There's a chance at her age that uh, she will hang on to a little bit of memory of him. So I'm praying for that and, and helping her reinforce it. Uh, he loved to take photos of her and did it every month. He did a photo shoot with her every month. And uh, they say that toddlers connect memories to photographs. So I'm hoping that 
that activity that they did together that was so important will stick with her. It's amazing that you did the race. Amazing that you know they did the race in his honor. Good for you. Thank you very much. Um, and you know, I, I look forward to having you. You know, come back here. Um, you know, get back. You know, when, when the time's right. You know, come back. You know, full time and. You know, and talk with us in the makeup room and come on the set and everything else like we all do here. Thank um, you. Well, the, and ra the race and this is uh, and this whole process are about putting one foot in front of the other and not giving up and uh, and that's what I'm doing. And you got a big project, a new baby coming. Yes. Mary Catherine, um, thank you for joining us. Thank and you, uh, you know, like I said, uh, Jake was you know an inspiration to all of us, even those of us who didn't know him. I'm glad. <laughs>